So this video is going to expand on an earlier video that I did. Um, and this one is going to be a little more, just a little more organized and thought out than the last one. Um, the last one I was kind of rushing because I was outside and it was getting really dark. Um, and also I was just kind of doing it on the fly off the top of my head, but I have notes today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is how being raw vegan affected my reality, uh, my personal reality, like the way that I perceive the world or the way that I perceive my life, however you want to put it. Um, and keep in mind that when I say that I'm raw vegan, um, I'm not perfect. I just get most of my calories from uh, raw fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and I'm not perfect. And um, But the cool thing is that I find that I don't have to be perfect to notice all of these changes in my reality. So, okay, here we go. Um, in no particular order. So I notice a lot of things um, when I'm at work. And so a lot of these kind of have to do with when I'm at work because I'm at work a lot and I work with people. So um, it's kind of easy to gauge where you're at when you like go do the same thing every day. I kind of compare myself like, oh, this is the way that life felt yesterday at this place. And now today it feels a little different. Hmm. You know, and I notice like, how does it feel different? So, so these are the things I've noticed, not just at work, but anyway. Um, so, and keep in mind that a lot of my, um, changes that I've noticed are also kind of in comparison to when I was sleep deprived postpartum. So a lot of this could be like also getting better sleep. Um, so <laughs> there's that too. Um, but I do think that like, qual like I get better quality sleep, the more raw vegan I'm eating. Um, and then also I want to say that of course, like overall happiness, like mental well-being and happiness, of course, alters your reality and um, I just find that it's easier for me to have that like joyful mindset um, when the more raw vegan I am so yes they all go together the sleep the like mental health and the food um, but honestly the food makes the sleep and the mental health way easier to get to like it's way more attainable for me um, when I'm eating a ton of fruit and nice big salads at night so all right here we go um i noticed that when i'm around people especially like strangers like if i'm at the store or if i'm at work and i'm like observing co-workers or just yeah people out in public i tend to now notice people for how they're feeling which is i think what i used to do when i was younger too um but instead of like looking at a person and just observing them and thinking about like what their role is in life, like, oh, that guy's a dad and he's wearing these kind of clothes. So like maybe he's kind of like this type of person. Um, I'm actually not like I can see that stuff, but that's not the stuff that jumps out at me. The thing that jumps out at me is like how they're feeling in that moment, like literally feeling like emotionally. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I don't know how to put it any other way, but that's what I, like, that's how I perceive that person, um, the most. And that's the thing that like, I think about the most and that I use the most in my like interactions or thoughts. So yeah. Um, and that goes along with feeling more present too. That's another thing that's changed for me is feeling more in the present moment um, and less in my head in this like, you know, kind of spacey dream world that I totally like have access to all the time just with my um, personality, but I am way more in the moment and I have less going on like in my brain now when I'm just going about my day. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but at the same time, even though I'm like more in the present moment, I find it way easier now to think really abstractly and creatively. Um, so I can get really deep into a daydream and entertain myself if I need to, if I'm like in a boring situation, like 
because at work, for example, um, I do a lot of like cognitive tests and cognitive treatment. And so I'll give someone a prompt and then sometimes it takes them a while to respond or they're like literally doing a task where they have to use a pen and they're like trying to figure out this little puzzle on this cognitive test. Um, and they're usually older adults or just people who are sick. So they might take a long time. Um, and you have to practice a lot of patience. <laughs> and so often I'll like, like I'm still there and present with them for sure. Like if they need something, I'm like, yep. But, and I'm paying attention to what they're doing. But at the same time, I can just kind of like stare out the window and then entertain myself in a very abstract thought. And then I can go into these like associations. Um, and then the cool thing is I can go like deep, deep, deep into an association. Um, and then I can backtrack. I can think, how did I get to that? And then I can like retrace my steps and I can get back. I can figure out and like what little idea led me to this idea that I got to. So um, that's really fun. And I also, I remember being able to do that when I was younger. And then I remember it going away <laughs> at some point. Um, and so it's just really fun. And I like will come up with ideas like, Ooh, why don't I do that? I've never thought of that. Or I don't think anybody's ever done that before. Um, and so, or just really nice, like fun ideas or like wonderings, like little questions that I have about, um, yeah, life and random things. So, so yeah, those associations roll so effortlessly for me now. Um, and then going along the lines of like being at work and talking to new people all the time, um, or people that I'm just familiar with over like the last two weeks or so, um, I find that my conversations um, flow really, really easily now, and I'm able to, uh, you know that feeling where you sync up with others? Um, I'm able to really sync with others pretty easily um, and have like a really dynamic social experience where I'm not really thinking about what I'm saying. Um, I used to have this short lag between what I'm thinking about and then what I was going to say. Um, and me saying it but now I just like say things as I'm thinking about it which is really nice um, and so I'm I'm sure some people listening to this can relate and some people are watching this and you're like and they're like yeah that's how my brains always worked but not everybody has that some people lose that for several reasons so um, and I don't think a lot of people like to talk about it because it's really it's kind of embarrassing and it's kind of a uh, worrisome so <laughs> um especially as you get older like if you get to be an older adult and you notice these things about yourself some people really like to keep quiet about it um i found so yeah um i'm just speaking from a speech therapist perspective <laughs> who like assesses people's cognition some people are really open about telling me like oh yeah this is really different now i used to be able to think of words really easily and now i can't and some people like will do literally anything to um, reveal the secret that they've been trying to cover um, from their friends and families or coworkers for years that they their minds maybe don't work the way that they used to. So um, yeah, I'm here to say that my mind didn't work as well as it could have for a couple years there, um, but the yeah. Okay, nothing else to say about that. All right, so another way that being mostly raw vegan has altered my reality is that I notice synchronicities way easier um, and I'm very open to them and um, I'm even more open to them than I used to be. Um, and yeah, I think they always probably were there and I just didn't notice them. Um, and so I, they happen all the time, all the time. <laughs> uh, another way that being raw vegan has altered my reality is that I will um, express emotions way easier now. I laugh easier, I cry easier, um, emotions just kind of flow through me, which is really helpful. And I touched on this in my last video. It's helpful with work because I soak up people's emotions at work and then I can let them go. 
um, you know, it's still a practice, but it's way easier now. Um, but then even just my own emotions, like I can feel it and then let it out, which is beautiful. Um, another thing that's happened is that um, I used to have like somewhat low motivation. And I think my level of motivation was just kind of going off of what I knew that I should be doing, like what I had done in the past. And I was just kind of like on autopilot trying to continue being as motivated as I used to be. Um, with so it was kind of like a false motivation i think but um so for example i would like walk by something in my house and be like oh someone should do something about that like a little pile of clothes or something oh somebody should really do something about that or like a crooked picture <laughs> oh somebody should really do something about that <laughs> not like i'll just do it now you know um so now before I even start to think like, oh, I should do that, I'm like already doing it, which is really cool, really helpful. So, <laughs> um, Also, I feel, I kind of touched on this a little bit already, but I feel like my younger self, I think like my younger self, I'm really lucky that I, I guess I had a good noggin and a good like expression of my self and my mind like when I was younger. So I have something to compare it to and to try to strive for. Um, but yeah, that's really fun. So I literally feel like my brain is younger for so many reasons. Um, I feel more like my true self, like I can easily just like be myself. So that's really fun. And I'm not like, hmm, what would a Mallory act like? It's like, no, I'm just acting like myself. Um, I make jokes without even thinking about it first. And I do this a lot at work. I notice if I'm around people that are receptive to it and like in a good mood, I'll just start cracking jokes out of nowhere. And I didn't premeditate them at all. They just come out, um, which is really fun. And then um, one way that I like check to see where I'm at with all of this stuff is um, a really good gauge for where like, I'm at mentally in this, like being present and being um, like connected to whatever is coming through me um, is being around my kids. Like I feel like when I'm around my two boys, um, I notice right away, like I'm like, whoa, I am not with it right now if I'm not like feeling like really easily um, playful or... Um, present or like conscious um so yeah so that is a really good gauge so if you're ever trying to figure out if you're like pretty with it and present and conscious and playful and all those things just go be around some kids and see how you act <laughs> and uh, I think that kind of tells you like how awake and conscious you are um how easily you can make a little connection with a child so yeah they're a really good they're a really good mirror so hopefully that gives you a good idea I feel like I could talk about this forever um so yeah I think I'll end it I'll end that one there <laughs>